Hi everyone, welcome back to Learn English with Podcast Conversation. I'm Olivia, and as always, I'm joined by Alex. Today, we're diving into a really exciting topic that's close to many of our hearts' music. That's right, Olivia. Today, we'll be talking about the role of music in learning English. Music is not just entertainment, it's a powerful tool for language learning. Whether you're singing along to your favorite songs or analyzing lyrics, music can make learning English fun and effective. Absolutely. Alex, we'll explore how different genres, rhythms, and even cultural aspects of music can help improve your vocabulary, pronunciation, and listening skills. So, whether you're a beginner or advanced learner, there's something here for everyone. So, grab your headphones, get comfortable, and let's discover how you can use music to enhance your English learning journey. Let's start with one of the most obvious benefits lyrics. When you listen to songs in English, you're exposed to a rich vocabulary and various sentence structures. It's like reading a poem, but with a catchy beat. Take a song like Imagine by John Lennon. The lyrics are simple yet profound, and they help you understand different tenses and expressions. That's a great point. Alex, lyrics often use colloquial language, idioms, and phrases that are commonly used in everyday conversation. So, by learning the lyrics, you're not just learning words, you're learning how native speakers actually use the language. For example, phrases like let it be from the Beatles aren't just words. They carry meaning and context that can enrich your understanding of English. And the repetition in songs helps reinforce those words and phrases. When you hear a chorus over and over, it sticks in your mind, making it easier to remember and use those expressions in your own conversations. Plus, songs often tell stories or convey emotions, which can help with comprehension and retention. If you're emotionally connected to a song, you're more likely to remember the lyrics and the vocabulary within it. It's a fun and natural way to improve your language skills. One of the best ways to practice pronunciation is through singing. When you sing along to English songs, you're mimicking the sounds, intonation, and rhythm of native speakers. This can help you develop a more natural accent and improve your fluency. And it's not just about fast songs, even slower songs, like ballads, can be beneficial. They allow you to focus on each word, understand the nuances of pronunciation, and practice the intonation. For instance, listening to and singing along with a song like Someone Like You by Adele can help you with vowel sounds and emotional expression. And let's not forget about the benefits of singing in groups like in a choir or karaoke. Singing with others can build your confidence and help you practice speaking English in a social setting, which is just as important as learning on your own. That's a great point. Alex, when you sing with others, you're also exposed to different accents and pronunciations, which can broaden your understanding of how English can be spoken in various ways. Moving on, let's talk about how different music genres can help you expand your vocabulary. Each genre of music tends to use specific types of language and themes. For example, country music often tells stories about life, love, and hardships, which can introduce you to a lot of descriptive and emotive language. That's true, Alex. And if you listen to hip-hop or rap, you're likely to encounter a lot of slang and street language, which is useful for understanding modern, urban English. It's a genre rich with cultural references and idiomatic expressions. On the other hand, classical music, especially when accompanied by operatic lyrics, can introduce you to more formal or poetic language. Even if you're not singing along, understanding the themes and vocabulary in classical pieces can help you appreciate the depth of the English language. And let's not forget about pop music, which often uses everyday language. Pop songs are usually easy to understand and are perfect for beginners who want to learn basic vocabulary and phrases. 
Songs like Shape of You by Ed Sheeran are catchy and repetitive, making them ideal for language learning. Listening to different genres can also expose you to different accents and pronunciations. Whether it's British rock, American blues, or Australian indie, each style can teach you something new about the way English is spoken. And it's a great way to stay motivated, too. If you love a particular genre, you're more likely to listen to it often, and that repeated exposure is key to language acquisition. Music is a window into culture, and by exploring different types of music, you can learn a lot about the cultures where English is spoken. For instance, understanding the history of jazz can give you insights into African American culture and the social issues that have shaped the United States. Exactly, Olivia, and if you're interested in British culture, exploring the evolution of rock music from the Beatles to Coldplay can be very enlightening. Music reflects the values, struggles, and stories of a society, and by learning about these, you can gain a deeper understanding of the language. Plus, many songs reference historical events, famous figures, or cultural phenomena. For example, Bob Dylan's songs are filled with political and social commentary. By analyzing these lyrics, you're not just learning language, you're learning about history and culture. And let's not forget about modern pop culture. Artists like Taylor Swift or Drake often sing about themes that resonate with younger generations, giving you a glimpse into contemporary issues and trends. This can help you stay current with language that's being used by younger English speakers today. And it's not just about the lyrics, the style of music, the instruments used, and even the fashion of the artists can tell you something about the cultural context. It's a holistic way to learn English, immersing yourself in the language and the culture simultaneously. And that cultural understanding can make your language learning journey more meaningful and enjoyable. When you know the story behind a song or the culture it represents, it adds depth to your learning. Now, let's talk about how music can enhance your listening skills. Songs often use a variety of speeds, tones, and vocal styles, which can train your ear to understand spoken English in different contexts. For instance, listening to rap can help you get used to fast-paced speech, while ballads can improve your understanding of slow, clear enunciation. That's true, Alex. And because music is often repetitive, it reinforces what you're hearing, making it easier to pick up on new words and phrases. Listening to a song several times allows you to catch details you might have missed initially, like subtle changes in pronunciation or the use of stress in sentences. And music often includes background instruments and harmonies that can challenge your listening skills, helping you to focus on the lyrics amidst other sounds. This can be especially useful when you're trying to understand spoken English in noisy environments. Another benefit is that music can expose you to different dialects and accents. Whether it's the British accent in Adele's songs or the Southern American drawl in country music, you're training your ear to recognize and understand various forms of English. And let's not forget about the emotional connection music can create. When you're emotionally engaged with a song, you're more likely to pay attention to the lyrics and understand the meaning behind them. This deepens your listening comprehension and helps you retain what you've learned. Plus, music is accessible everywhere on your phone, on the radio, or on streaming platforms so you can practice your listening skills anytime, anywhere. One of the most powerful aspects of using music to learn English is the motivation it can provide. When you find a song that resonates with you, it can inspire you to keep learning and practicing. Music has the unique ability to evoke emotions, which can make the learning process more enjoyable and less of a chore. That's so true, Olivia. Think about how a song can lift your mood or bring back memories. That emotional connection can make you more motivated to learn the lyrics, understand the meaning, and even explore more songs by the same artist. And when you're motivated, you're more likely to stay consistent with your language learning. 
You might find yourself listening to your favorite English songs on repeat, and each time you do, you're reinforcing your understanding of the language. Music also has a way of making learning feel less formal. Instead of sitting down with a textbook, you can simply enjoy your favorite tunes and still be practicing your English. It's learning disguised as fun. And that emotional connection can also help with memory. If you associate a particular song with a happy memory, you're more likely to remember the words and phrases from that song. It's a natural and effective way to improve your language skills. Plus, music can be a source of comfort and relaxation, making it easier to absorb new information. When you're relaxed, your brain is more open to learning, so listening to music can create an ideal environment for language acquisition. Music is not just a solo activity, it's also a great way to connect with others. Whether you're singing along with friends at a karaoke night or discussing your favorite bands, music provides a social context in which you can practice English. That's right, Alex. Participating in musical activities like singing in a choir, attending concerts, or even just chatting about music with friends can give you more opportunities to use English in a real-world setting. It's a way to practice speaking and listening in a fun and engaging way. And don't forget about the online communities dedicated to music. Forums, social media groups, and fan pages are great places to interact with other English learners or native speakers. You can discuss lyrics, share your favorite songs, and even collaborate on translations. Plus, when you talk about music with others, you're likely to encounter different perspectives and interpretations, which can broaden your understanding of the language. It's a way to see how language can be used creatively and how it can have different meanings for different people. And because music is such a universal language, it's a great way to make connections across cultures. You might find that you have a lot in common with someone from another country simply because you both love the same band or genre. Music can also be a conversation starter. Whether you're meeting someone new or trying to break the ice, talking about music is a great way to get a conversation going. And every conversation is an opportunity to practice your English. Not everyone learns in the same way, and the great thing about music is that it can be tailored to fit your individual learning style. If you're an auditory learner, listening to songs and focusing on the lyrics can be a highly effective way to learn. And if you're a visual learner, you might benefit from watching music videos or reading the lyrics as you listen. Seeing the words on screen can help you make connections between the sound and the spelling, which reinforces your learning. Kinesthetic learners, who learn best through movement, can benefit from dancing or moving to the rhythm of the music. Engaging your body while you learn can help reinforce the language in your memory. And let's not forget about creative learners. If you enjoy writing, try creating your own lyrics or even translating your favorite songs into English. This can be a fun and creative way to practice your language skills. Music can also be adapted to different learning environments. Whether you're studying at home, on the go, or in a classroom setting, there's a way to incorporate music into your learning routine. The key is to find what works best for you. Experiment with different types of music and different learning methods to see what resonates with you. The more you enjoy the process, the more effective your learning will be. While music is a fantastic tool for learning English, it does come with its challenges. One of the biggest challenges is understanding slang and idioms. Many songs use informal language that might not be immediately understandable to non-native speakers. That's a good point, Alex. Another challenge is the use of poetic language and metaphors. Lyrics often play with language in creative ways, which can make them difficult to interpret. For example, a line like you're a shooting star might be confusing if you take it literally, but understanding it as a metaphor can deepen your comprehension. And then there's the issue of different accents and dialects. 
While this can be beneficial, it can also make understanding the lyrics more difficult, especially if the accent is strong or the dialect is very different from what you're used to. Plus, the pace of some songs can be challenging. Fast-paced lyrics, like those in rap or hip-hop, can be difficult to follow, especially for beginners. But don't be discouraged over time. With practice, it gets easier. And remember, it's okay not to understand everything right away. Music is meant to be enjoyed, so don't stress too much about getting every word. The more you listen, the more you'll pick up and the easier it will become. And if you're struggling with a particular song, try breaking it down. Focus on one verse or one chorus at a time. You can also look up the lyrics online and study them at your own pace. To help you get started, let's talk about some resources that can make learning English through music easier. There are plenty of apps and websites that offer lyrics with translations, like Genius or Lyrics Training. These can help you understand the meaning behind the words and how they're used in context. And don't forget about music streaming services like Spotify or Apple Music. Many of these platforms have curated playlists specifically designed for language learners. You can find playlists with slow, clear songs or even songs organized by difficulty level. YouTube is another great resource. There are countless channels dedicated to teaching English through music, where they break down lyrics, explain the meanings, and even provide pronunciation tips. Plus, many official music videos now come with subtitles, which can be a huge help. And if you're looking for something more interactive, consider joining an online language exchange or music-themed group. These communities often have activities like song translations, lyric analysis, and even karaoke sessions where you can practice with others. Another useful resource is podcasts that focus on music and language learning. These often feature discussions about song meanings, cultural contexts, and language tips, making them a great way to learn while on the go. And lastly, don't underestimate the power of a good old-fashioned lyric book. Having the lyrics in front of you while you listen can make a big difference, especially if you're trying to catch every word. Now, let's talk about how you can learn grammar through music. Songs often contain grammatical structures that are used in everyday speech, making them a great resource for learning how sentences are formed in English. Exactly. Alex, for example, many songs use the present continuous tense, like I'm walking on sunshine. Listening to these structures in context helps you understand how they're used naturally in conversation. Songs can also teach you about verb conjugation. Repeatedly hearing verbs in different tenses, like she loves me, she loved me, reinforces your understanding of how verbs change depending on the time frame. And don't forget about the passive voice. A line like it's all been done before is a perfect example of how songs can illustrate grammatical concepts in a way that's easy to remember. Songs also often use conditional sentences, like if I were a boy, which can help you get a feel for how these structures are used in everyday speech. And then there's the subjunctive mood, which is often tricky for learners. Phrases like I wish I were can be found in many songs, helping you understand when and how to use this mood correctly. So, the next time you're listening to your favorite song, pay attention to the grammar. It's a fun and effective way to reinforce what you've learned in your English classes. Let's dive into how music can help you expand your vocabulary. Songs are full of words and phrases that you might not encounter in a textbook. From slang to idiomatic expressions, music exposes you to a wide range of vocabulary that can enrich your language skills. That's right. Olivia, listening to music is a great way to pick up new words in context. For example, a song might introduce you to a new way of saying something, like hit the road instead of leave. And because songs are often repetitive, you'll hear these new words and phrases multiple times, which helps with retention. The more you hear a word, the more likely you are to remember it and start using it in your own speech. Music also introduces you to different registers of language. 
Some songs use formal language, while others are more casual. This can help you understand when it's appropriate to use certain words or phrases. And don't forget about the cultural references. Many songs include references to popular culture, historical events, or famous places. Understanding these references can help you become more fluent in the cultural aspects of the language. So, whether you're learning new slang or brushing up on your idioms, music is a treasure trove of vocabulary that can help you sound more natural when you speak English. And the best part is, you're learning without even realizing it. You're just enjoying the music, and before you know it, you've added new words to your vocabulary. Repetition is a key component of music, and it's also a powerful tool for language learning. When you listen to a song, the repetition of lyrics helps reinforce the language in your mind. That's right, Alex. The chorus of a song, which is often repeated several times, can be particularly effective in helping you remember phrases and vocabulary. The more you hear it, the more it sticks in your memory. And because songs are catchy, you're likely to find yourself repeating the lyrics in your head even when you're not listening to the music. This kind of mental rehearsal is great for reinforcing what you've learned. Repetition in music also helps with pronunciation. By repeatedly hearing and singing along to the same words, you're practicing the sounds and rhythms of English in a natural and enjoyable way. And the great thing about music is that you can listen to the same song over and over without getting bored. This means you can get plenty of repetition without it feeling like a chore. So, if you find a song you love, don't hesitate to play it on repeat. It's one of the best ways to make the language stick. One of the fascinating aspects of learning English through music is that it gives you insight into cultural nuances. Music is a reflection of the culture it comes from, and by listening to English songs, you can learn a lot about the cultural context in which the language is used. That's so true, Olivia. For example, many songs reference holidays, traditions, and social norms that might be unfamiliar to non-native speakers. Understanding these references can give you a deeper appreciation of the culture and help you use the language more appropriately. Music also often deals with themes like love, friendship, and social issues, which are universal but can be expressed differently in different cultures. By listening to songs, you can learn how these themes are expressed in English and how they resonate with people in English-speaking cultures. And let's not forget about the historical and political context. Some songs are written in response to specific events or movements, and understanding this context can help you grasp the deeper meaning of the lyrics. So, when you listen to English music, you're not just learning the language; you're also gaining insight into the culture, history, and values of English-speaking communities. And this cultural understanding can make you a more effective communicator, as you'll be able to navigate conversations with a greater awareness of the context in which the language is used. Music isn't just for listening; it's also a great tool for practicing your speaking skills. One effective technique is to sing along with the lyrics. This helps you practice pronunciation, rhythm, and intonation in a fun and engaging way. That's a great tip, Alex. Another method is to read the lyrics out loud before you sing them. This can help you get comfortable with the words and phrases before you try to match them to the music. You can also try shadowing, where you listen to a song and try to speak or sing along at the same time as the singer. This is a great way to improve your fluency and timing. And if you're feeling confident, you can even try recording yourself singing or speaking along to a song. Listening back to the recording can help you identify areas where you might need to improve your pronunciation or rhythm. Another fun idea is to write your own lyrics to a tune you know. This not only helps with vocabulary and grammar, but also gives you a chance to practice your creative writing skills in English. And don't worry about sounding perfect. What's important is that you're practicing and getting more comfortable using the language. Music is a low-pressure way to practice speaking, so have fun with it. 
Music has a unique ability to evoke emotions, and this emotional connection can enhance your language learning. When you feel an emotional response to a song, you're more likely to remember the lyrics and the language used. That's so true, Olivia. Music can make you feel happy, sad, excited, or nostalgic, and these emotions can create strong memories associated with the language. This emotional engagement makes learning more effective and enjoyable. And because music often deals with universal themes like love, loss, and hope, it can help you connect with the language on a deeper level. Understanding the emotions behind the lyrics can give you a greater appreciation for the nuances of English. Plus, when you find a song that really resonates with you, you're more likely to listen to it repeatedly, which, as we mentioned earlier, is great for language retention. So, don't be afraid to explore different genres and find the music that speaks to you. The emotional connection you make with the songs will enhance your language learning experience. And remember, the more you enjoy the music, the more you'll want to listen, and the more you listen, the more you'll learn. Music videos add a visual element to your language learning, making it an even more immersive experience. Watching music videos can help you understand the context of the lyrics, especially if they include visual cues that reinforce the meaning of the words. That's right, Olivia. For example, if a song is about a specific event or story, the music video often illustrates this, making it easier to understand the lyrics. The combination of audio and visual input can make the language more memorable. That's right, Olivia. For example, if a song is about a specific event or story, the music video often illustrates this, making it easier to understand the lyrics. The combination of audio and visual input can make the language more memorable. Music videos also provide cultural insights. They often reflect the fashion, trends, and social issues of the time, giving you a deeper understanding of the cultural context in which the language is used. And for visual learners, music videos can be particularly helpful. Seeing the lyrics come to life on screen can make it easier to remember them and understand their meaning. Plus, many music videos now come with subtitles, which can help you follow along with the lyrics and improve your reading and listening skills simultaneously. So, if you haven't already, try incorporating music videos into your language learning routine. It's a fun and effective way to deepen your understanding of English. Listening is one of the most important skills in language learning, and music is a fantastic tool to help you improve it. When you listen to songs, you're training your ear to pick up on different sounds, rhythms, and intonations in English. That's right, Alex. Music can expose you to different accents and dialects, helping you become more adaptable in understanding various forms of spoken English. And because songs often contain repetitive lyrics, they give you plenty of opportunities to practice listening for specific words and phrases. This repetition helps you become more familiar with how English sounds in different contexts. Music also helps you get used to the speed of spoken English. Songs are often sung at a natural pace, which can help you get accustomed to the rhythm and flow of the language. And if you find a song that's a bit challenging, don't be afraid to listen to it multiple times. Each time, you'll pick up on something new, whether it's a word you missed before or a different way of pronouncing a phrase. So, whether you're listening to a ballad, a pop song, or a rap, each genre offers something different in terms of listening practice. The key is to listen actively and try to pick up on as much as you can. And the more you practice, the better you'll get at understanding spoken English, no matter how fast or complex it might be. With so much music out there, how do you find the right songs for language learning? It's important to choose music that not only matches your taste, but also your language level. That's a great point, Olivia. If you're a beginner, Start with slower songs that have clear, simple lyrics. Folk songs, ballads, and acoustic versions of popular songs can be a good place to start. As you become more confident, you can challenge yourself with faster songs or those with more complex lyrics.
pop, rock, and hip hop can introduce you to a wider range of vocabulary and expressions. And don't forget about children's songs. They often have repetitive, easy to understand lyrics that are great for beginners, plus, they're fun to sing along to. And if you're not sure where to start, try looking up the lyrics to your favorite songs. Even if the song wasn't originally intended for language learning, you can still gain a lot from studying the lyrics and singing along. The key is to find music that you enjoy, because the more you enjoy it, the more you'll want to listen and learn. And remember, it's okay to start with simple songs and work your way up. As your language skills improve, you can explore more challenging music and continue expanding your vocabulary and understanding. And remember, it's okay to start with simple songs and work your way up. As your language skills improve, you can explore more challenging music and continue expanding your vocabulary and understanding. That brings us to the end of today's episode. We hope you enjoyed exploring the world of English through music with us. Remember, the key is to keep practicing, stay motivated, and have fun with your learning journey. Thanks for tuning in, and we look forward to having you with us in our next episode. Until then, keep learning, keep listening, and take care. Goodbye.